Used car prices have fallen for three months in a row here in the UK, which is funny as I made a video in February talking about how some key figures in the car industry were reporting that used car prices would remain high forever, literally in time for price to begin falling. Is this the sign of the used car price wall bursting or is this something else? Let's have a chat about it. If you like the content and want to see more of it, do hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and hit subscribe to see more stuff like this. But without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> Let's start with an example that's particularly relevant to me. On Auto Trader right now, there is an Alfa Romeo 4C with 42,000 miles on the clock, pretty high mileage for an exotic, but what's special about it to me at least is the fact that it's listed for 38,000 pounds. This is the first time I've seen a 4C for sub 40K on Auto Trader in well over a year. Here's a clip from a video I made back in Jan 21 with the 4C prices being much more palatable. These are holding value very nicely at the moment with the cheapest available for around 34,000 pounds while the majority sit within the 35 to 40k mark with under 15,000 miles on the clock. And they were even cheaper back in 2019 when I dropped this video. So your £35,000 won't quite stretch to a launch edition, it will get you a 2015 model with around 10,000 miles on the clock. Pretty insane for the money, considering when the 4C was first launched it retailed at €60,000. You could also get one of the spider versions if you prefer a convertible, and though I think it's still a pretty car, something about the coupe just gets me going in a way that the spider doesn't, but each their own of course. And I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they dropped below 30k in some cases, particularly for spiders. Now what's interesting about this is that I said even when the used car price bubble would ease or maybe burst, we would still see cherished cars that are often bought for value, like classic cars or exotic cars, kind of still holding their value a bit. I've said it in comments, I've even mentioned it in a pre previous video. In fact, the Alfa Romeo 4C, which I am after at the moment, is one of those cars. Back in like end of 2019 into the middle of 2020, they were available from around about 30 to 35,000 pounds. I even made a video on one at 35,000 pounds. That same Alpha 4C today costs around 45 to 50,000 pounds. I would obviously love for them to return to their 30 to 35,000 pounds mark, but I really don't think that will happen because any 4C owner that has bought over the last two years and spent 45,000 pounds on the car or whatever will believe that the car is worth 45,000 pounds. And yes, Obviously a car is only worth what people are going to pay for it, but there is a significantly limited supply of Alfa Romeo 4 which will probably only go down as people sawn them or crash them, and people start to become accustomed to the actual value of those cars. The value is going to go up, it's not really likely to go down unless something crazy happens in the world whereby we're no longer allowed to drive in internal combustion engine cars or something like that. There's actually another two 4 Cs below that 45k mark, at 42k and 44k respectively, which isn't unheard of anyway in recent times, but as I said from what I've seen, 4Cs have been comfortably listed for over £45,000 for a while now. This is not hugely far off from the general consensus around how much prices have fallen recently, as though different reports will give you different results. I've seen figures suggesting a 1.7% dip in February, 1.7% again in March, and 1.5% in April. Though it's important to note that even with that dip, we're 19.1% up on where we were this time last year. So don't get overexcited now or start panic selling unless you do want to start an actual dip in used car prices in which case that wouldn't be a terribly bad thing so maybe do for the 4c and then i can actually buy one for less than 35,000 pounds please but joking aside given this massive surge we've seen what's causing the sudden easing and dip i mean one of the leading causes of the growth i.e the lack of supply of new cars still remains true plenty of manufacturers are still unable to meet demand and bmw have even reported shipping cars without apple play and android auto as they can't get chips in time for them from what i've seen Seen, it's one main factor that has caused this dip in prices and for many of you it shouldn't come as too much of a surprise. The cost of living in the UK has risen dramatically in the last couple of months with some even suggesting we're in a cost of living crisis. 54% increase in gas and electric bills, 1.7% increase in water bills, rate of inflation increased to 6.2%, retail price index up massively from 1.4% to 7.8% which means an increase in stuff like travel expenses by about 10% in some cases. An increase in stuff like phone and broadband costs by about 5.4 to 9.3%. 
and some other ridiculous price changes too, like stamps which jump from 10p for a first class stamp to 95p, and 2p for a second class one to 68p. Pretty nutty stuff. Now that bleak outlook for our cost of living means that most people will naturally have less money, and therefore have less to spend on stuff like cars, whether those cars are for fun or practicality. This has already shown itself in how people are buying cars. Apparently, it's taking consumers almost double the time to actually make a decision to buy a car at the moment, around 171 days. This might be due to multiple factors including a lack of cars available, but also a lack of money to buy cars and prices being at an all time high. Ultimately, the cost of living has to have an impact on this. Particularly when you think about people living in and around cities where the ultra low emission zone is a thing, it's becoming harder to justify keeping a non-compliant car around when it already costs so much to live. I even sent my MX-5 back to my parents house and I'm only keeping my Polo in London as paying £12.50 every time I want to drive my MX-5 is just silly given the current circumstances. So people have less money to buy cars, and Auto Trader's Director of Data and Insights two weeks ago didn't know any different prices, but did confirm that demand has definitely slipped, which certainly helps when there's a clear lack of supply at the moment for dealerships. I wonder whether we'll see more used cars show up on the market in the coming weeks and months during this cost of living squeeze as people get rid of unnecessary cars where possible. It's definitely given me the kick I needed to sell my second MX-5, which is nearly in a position to go. Drop me a note if you're after a spares or repairs limited edition Mark 1 Merlot MX-5 that looks like a Spitfire and I'll do you a deal. So people have less money spare at the moment and will be less likely to buy cars and potentially more likely to sell them and we've seen three months straight of used car prices decline so are we due a price bubble burst? I still don't think so. I think that short term we're seeing a wobble in prices and maybe they've even reached close to their peak but I don't think that a cost of living squeeze due to prices increasing means that prices will suddenly decrease. Cars are bought as practical enablers by the vast majority of people, we buy them to use them, so they will likely remain that for many people. Maybe people will want to start buying cheaper cars that are more economical to drive, like you'll have seen in some of my recent videos, but people who need cars today are still probably going to need them tomorrow, and with supply still not able to meet demand for both new and used cars, it would need a huge drop in demand to see a proper bubble burst. Instead, I would still like to revise my former statement around a slow decline in used car prices over an extended period of time once the chip makers are able to get a bit closer to demand. I think we're probably going to see prices continue to slow for a little while here in the UK as we start to really feel the impact of the cost of living crisis, but then once we're used to it or if it starts to decrease, I think prices will continue to stay strong and maybe even continue to climb well until manufacturers are able to keep up with demand for new cars. Even then it takes a while for new cars to become used cars for sale, so I think we're probably a few years away from seeing a wealth of used cars available. And my fear is that by the time it's the right conditions for used cars to drop in price, it will be even more difficult to justify buying a petrol or diesel car with the cost of fuel and potential tax, regulation and maybe even legality of combustion engine cars moving forwards. Maybe you could make a case for a dip in the price of expensive enthusiast cars like the Alpha 4C I started this video with, where people may have overstretched themselves or over leveraged, getting rid of liabilities like that will help them to get through this cost of living squeeze, so you might, might see an increase in supply of those cars. But it's hard to be certain about how many people that situation relates to and for the most expensive cars, I feel like you're looking at a market of people that would likely be cash rich enough not to be too heavily impacted by the cost of living. Too Long didn't watch, the bubble isn't bursting, but we are in very difficult times, so there's a lot of uncertainty around prices, but I think we're still at least a few years away from properly cheap used car prices. Does that make sense? What are your thoughts? I'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments down below, whether you agree or disagree with me, but obviously let's keep it respectful. Remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe as well if you're new here. As always, a massive thanks to the patrons there support and to you guys as well for watching. I will see you in the next one. Listen.